Like many movements before it, Impressionism was not accepted immediately. The movement was originally seen as a rebellion against the European academic tradition, which included artists like Jacques-Louis David. Although the movement in France began in the early 1800s, American Impressionism did not emerge until after the Civil War. During this era, the citizens of the United States wanted to show their wealth, and buying artwork provided this outward symbol of status. To fill this desire, artists went abroad to study European art, where they were introduced to French Impressionism. These artists used vibrant colors, quick brushwork, and natural light for their creations. Some American critics and artists quickly rejected the style, though others, including Mara Cassatt and John Singer Sargent, picked up the style throughout the early years and were vital in bringing it to the United States. In 1886, William Merritt Chase became the first major American artist to create Impressionist paintings in the States. By the early 1890s, the style became widely accepted among American artists. The Biggs Museum offers a large collection of American Impressionist paintings in its third floor gallery. Haystacks by William Merritt Chase is a prime example of the American Impressionism plein air studies. John Henry Trockman's Old Orchard is a typical Impressionist landscape with its emphasis on texture, light, and color. There is a sense that as he painted this scene, the trees were swaying in the breeze, further illustrating the Impressionist dedication to capturing the moment. Summer Girl by artist Robert Reed is a favorite of museum visitors. This depiction of a woman was ahead of its time, with the sitter's haughty position looking down at the viewer, and a modern dress that cheekily reveals her elbow. The paintings featured in this gallery are diverse like the movement itself, and allow the bigs to represent this artistic moment in time. <laughs>